Hey yo fellas, what's up? This is Joe Crystal. I'm gonna help y'all I'm gonna help y'all out with a, a couple things about reasons ten. Or just kinda like any dog. Um hold on, let me turn this down right quick. Basically about you know, about reasons people that be having DSP problems and and CPU problems. I right, one in reasons ten you can uh, freeze your tracks, right? But the problem with reasons is that people they want to use outside VSC plugins. This is the reason why I stopped using V outside VSC plugins, unless it's a plugin that serves a real purpose, and I need it. For example, like some dolls come with. So, well, some dolls don't come with a, com a, a deesser. You can use the compressor, but a deesser is set a certain way. So I might use, uh, you know, get an outside deesser or something. Or well, based on what it is, you, you feel me? But I was caught up in all the VSC instruments and plugins over the years. I got the free ones. I got the, new, the, the, the ones that cost a lot, like from Wave Bundles to Wave Arts to, um, oh, man, there's so many of them. But the reason why y'all having CPU problems is because y'all keep using these outside VSC instruments. Now, this is my this is my perspective. Out of all those I've used, reasons, sound bank, from the drums to the VSC instruments, it's too many damn sounds, man, for y'all to feel like y'all have to use something on the outside. The sound bank is ridiculous. Not only that, you can tweak the sound up in, in your own form and design and then save it as a preset. And I save a lot of CPU power using Reason. You get what I'm saying? I save a lot of CPU power. I mean, I, I don't went up to even 20 combinators. I added 20 combinators to my computer and it wasn't even halfway. Just to test it out, see how far it can go. And, and y'all felt y'all know how how many you know plugins and effects and all that type of stuff be inside the combinators, right? And and also I'm gonna tell you my computer. I have a Windows 10 i7 processor. I have 16 gigs of RAM and I think 2.1 something like a 2. something gig gigahertz. Um and I have a, a video game graphic graphics card, even though that really don't matter. But um, this is see reasons never really wanted to add the VST instruments. They never they never wanted to put that shit in the, the, the you know they dog people kept asking for it. Their whole idea and their concept was you know to keep keep everything in the family, keep it inside, so you don't have these problems. And I know that every dog I ever use like right now my sixteen gigs of RAMs, I can go and use Studio One. Ableton Live, uh, Bitwig, you know, in a way, and especially Studio One, right? And I can add one multi, it's called a multi effect or something. It's called a multi instrument, but it's the same thing as a combinator. And I can add a multi instrument, and I can add one of the big Jones. And when I tell you, my CPU will shoot the fuck up all we have we already cracking. Just one. One plug in would give me a problem. And yeah, you need to bounce it. It's good to bounce it and everything. But if it's shooting up from the beginning where you can't you don't even have a chance to even play it and hear it good before you even bounce it. It serves no purpose. You know, um, that's crazy, man. And let me tell you, I don't test the 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 the, the, the software, the the audio the audio settings from from where, because you know in Studio One you got a you got a, a processor where you got one side. You know one thing about when you mixing and mastering, if you recording vocals and you making a beat, you want to bring your your uh, your sound card. You want to bring your sound card. What do they call it? The uh, Hold on, what they call it? Hold on, let me let me check right quick, fellas. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure I give y'all the name. I, I know y'all know what I'm talking about, though. But let me go to the audio preference.
Where is that? The um Yeah, your sam your sample rate. When you when you bring your sample rate down real low, that means there's no delay on your recording. So when you start mixing and mastering, you bring your sample rate up high. That's how that's how that's how the process go. But check this out, right? Even Studio One got something dope where it's like you could bring the sample rate down low, and they got this other part called the processing. You could bring it up high where it just focus on when it's time for you to mix and master because you know it, it handles it real good, but it's still a problem. It still shoots up like crazy, man. And the thing is, like. When you're doing music, man, me, if I'm making a beat, you using you using effects at the same time. Sometimes even when I'm recording, I use certain effects. That ain't really the big deal. But when I'm making a beat, I'm using certain effects and sometimes I'm mixing as I go. Touching certain things, leveling certain things to hear what I got. Because sometimes when you drop a multi-instrument, it comes with all type of effects and everything that's already... Put it together to make it sound a certain way. But. But yeah people. Your solution is this. Stop using these outside VSC instruments for reasons. Use the plugins that come with it. To me I like the plugins that come with it to be honest with you. I like the, I like the VSCs that come with it. Dope to me. And plus I like, I like them going inside the rack. You know, I, you know even though you can use the outside VSC instruments. And then they come, and once you get them, it, once you drop it to the rack, it goes inside like this little square. I think it's called a VSC or something. And uh, you know, then you you turn a tab and you could turn around and rig it up. But if you're gonna buy plugins, VSC instruments for reasons, buy the original plugins that's built for that program exactly, where you don't even have to use. That special uh, VST device for outside plugins. It wasn't made for them to really handle them shit. They might find a way. To, they might find a way to, to make them work better. But me, first of all, I don't even like a whole bunch. I don't like. I don't even like plugins sitting up on the screen. As soon as you press the button, and they pop up on the screen just right in front of you. You got to move it out the way to tweak something and all that shit. That's what. I, that's one thing I liked about Bitwig, and that's one thing I like about Reasons. When you when you add it, it, it's in its own space, and whatever you tweaking you use, it don't it don't pop up and, and affect everything that you're trying to change and tweak. Yeah, people be like, "Yo, get two screens, man." Listen, man, I got a, this is my screen. I got I got a curve before I got a curve forty nine inch, you know, uh, QLED screen. So that shit give me a lot of space. It's kind of like putting two screens together. So I don't need that one screen, that two screen shit where you slide the mixer to one and slide the other thing. I, I didn't even like functioning like that. I, I wasn't functioning good that way. But to each his own. But this is the solution. Stop using all these outside VSC instruments. People get, we get caught up in these plugins. I got caught up in the plugins. I was hyped about everything just because the way it looked, you know, think it's going to sound different. Man, Reasons got some shit. The sounds, the stock, the sounds, not only that the sounds are organized, they organize to down what type of instrument it is, what type of sound it is. It's organized everything, man. You know, if you can't make music with that and they drum kicks for the Kong is crazy. If you can't make any sounds music with that and tweak them up and save them as a preset your own, then I don't know what to say about y'all. But listen, this is your Crystal. Hope this helped y'all. Peace.